Good morning, Sterling Show Committee here and um, we're back with another one of our demonstrations. This time it's how to turn out a hairy horse. We're just going to use a couple of products. First we've got a neem shampoo by Equimins. I like to use a neem shampoo on the uh, hairy horses because this is a really good insecticide as well. Um, regardless of what hairy horse you have, one of the biggest troubles that you'll find with their upkeep is mites so this does keep them at bay it's perfect for their feathers we've also got a show white powder okay this is troy 10 year old traditional gelding high bald um, lots of dirty patches on his white he's got lots of feather that are dirty and a very thick tail so we're going to just start off by giving him a quick brush down and then a wash with the neem shampoo. With regards to the feathers, what I do is I put some hot water into the bucket and put the foot into the bucket and give the feathers a good scrub that way. The uh, hot water really helps lift the dirt better than cold water will, so these are going to come up nice. bucket of hot soapy water like so and just give the feathers a great scrub this will bring them out really as white as they possibly can be but later on there'll be other products that we'll use to help whiten them up also when I take um, the foot out of the bucket what I do is I just leave the soap on just to rest there for a little while um, because it is the neem extract that's in it, that's going to help eliminate any parasites that are in your horse's feathers. Okay, that's the pony is now all bathed off. It's nice and white. Feathers pretty clean. And the tail took forever to scrub. Um, hopefully the video will show here that the traditionals do tend to still have a bit of a yellow staining on their coats. When you've bathed them i wouldn't worry too much about that um when they dry they do come up nice and white so you could spend hours and hours trying to get that off and it will never come out so don't worry too much about that yellow staining next we're going to put the whitening powder on his feathers okay, this unfortunately is just a bit of a messy job so i've taken any jewelry or anything that i've got off um, probably wear some old clothes for it all i'm going to do is rub some of this powder through his feather it looks an absolute mess when you're doing it um, and it all sort of clumps together, not very nice. However, in the morning, um, the feathers will come up brilliant white um, if you rub this through it um, and just leave it to dry. Feathers are still fairly wet at the moment. As you can see, the difference between the two regardless of what you do, how much you wash, unfortunately you can just never get the stain out of these ponies. Um, I would never use the whitening powder or paste the morning off the show, otherwise this is what it's going to, to look like. So you want it to dry in and then brush out. So I'm going to just do all four feet with this. Okay, so that's the pony clean. He's got the show white powder on all four feathers. Um, the only thing left to do is to plait up his tail. Before I do, I'm just going to put a little bit of show sheen through it. Just to keep it out of the way for the evening. Um, plait that up. Now, I don't put anything on him the evening before a show. On a hairy horse, you don't want to put bandages on or you're going to get left with uh, lines all over the feathers. I know these feathers look a mess at the moment, but honestly, they're going to dry in super and look lovely in white. So just have to trust that he doesn't roll in any dung overnight. Okay, with regards to the cob's head, Judge is looking for a nice neat head and small ears. To help with the appearance of the head, I'm going to just trim off the excess hair underneath his chin and the little that's in his ears. What I'm going to use for this 
is um, it's a Lister Clipper. So just go over his face with that, with the little trimming head on it, not taking it too short. You don't want it clipped right out, but just to remove any of the moustache, whiskers, and the little beard hair that's here. And it's going to just give him an overall nicer appearance to his head. Lastly, just with these little cat hairs down the back um, of his legs, front legs, I'm going to just take an equine razor and just lightly pull um, down the back of the cat hairs to remove those. Um, when the feather is all dried out, that's going to just help give a better and fuller impression of the feather. Um, you can pick these up in equine stores for about a quid each, I think. Um, sometimes you can get them in packs. Okay, that's him. Now all set, ready for bed. His legs will dry overnight. Okay, so it's show morning and the pony is looking nice and white. His feathers have come up lovely and white now. They're just going to need a little brush through. I've taken the plait out of his tail. Just need to give that a brush through also. And then that's the pony pretty much ready to go into the show ring. One final thing that I would do just before going into the ring is to get some uh, light oil or an enhancing gloss um, onto a baby wipe. I've got here a uh, Shapley's number one light oil. Just put a bit of that onto a baby wipe. And just round about his muzzle, I'm just going to wipe that just make that glisten a little bit more and also round about his eyes there you go I think that just finishes off his face nicely nice glisten He's fallen asleep, he's going to need to wake up. <laughs>